Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Easy Mentor. In this video, I'm going to share with you new lead generation project which I got on Upwork. I earned six hundred twenty-four dollar on this project. It was very simple work, uh, and it was a lead generation project. So my client told me that you have to collect uh, jewelry uh, store and jewelry manufacturer in South Africa. So I will show you everything step by step live on the screen that how I work on this project and how you can get this kind of work and i will also guide you that how you can create a lead generation portfolio for yourself from this project and how you can get this project if you want to work on that so i will show you everything step by step so you just need to watch this video completely so that you can understand and also don't forget my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed that easy mentor or my youtube channel so you can find more video about this kind of in this youtube channel so let's begin the work and then i will show you other tips and tricks okay so first i want to show you the client instruction which he sent to me basically he said that i want you to compile a list of jewelry store and jewelry manufacturing in south africa he said that you have to collect a store name phone email address and uh, website and uh, google reviews so um, it was 624 dollar project so he was paying me uh, seven dollar 25 per hour and it was 86 hour project so it was a pretty long project because there was a lot of data which i have to collect from google so okay guys so first you need to open any browser which you have suppose i have a chrome browser so first you have to open your browser then what you need to do guys you have to click on this button you can see after clicking on this no, sorry don't click on anything just copy uh just copy this list you remember just copy this list okay after copying this just search it here okay after searching that guys you need to just remove this okay just remove this data from here and then just leave it jewelry stored in south africa and then click on search google okay after doing that guys what you need to do just you have to click on uh, this button you can see setting okay so you have just to click on setting okay that's very important setting guys remember you must have to do the setting before uh, uh, join before starting work on this project okay so click on this cl setting okay after clicking on this then you have to come in down here guys and you have to sell uh, uh, remember when you open this page so the page will be here so you have to drag this page here to 100 okay after doing that you have to move this to here okay then you have to come down here guys that's very important thing. remember you must do that okay so just click on show more after doing that then you have to select here south africa you can see here i have already selected that south africa remember guys whenever your client told told you that uh, collect it this data from this country and this country so then you have to select the country here so it will be the google will show you the correct and exact detail which you are looking for so we are looking for now uh, south africa uh, leads so i have selected here south africa okay then you have to uh, click on this save okay so my results are already saved then okay now guys you can see we have found the detail uh, here you can see there are a lot of detail which we have found here in this google so what you need to do guys when you click on that uh, like uh, when you do that setting then you will see this kind of result in your page so then you have to come down here and you have to click on more places okay after doing that now you can see guys uh, here are the complete list of this lead which we are looking for like jewelry store in south africa etc so now what you need to do guys first you have to open any excel file yeah you can also use a google sheet uh, so whatever you want but i will recommend you to use google sheet it's pretty good because um, when you are you are working on the project so the client can also see your work uh, uh, and also see your progress so that's will be so much good i will recommend you that okay so first you have to guys copy the store name after copying that you have to paste it here then you have to do another thing and that are to type here the email address okay after that you have to select here phone the next part is phone then email address okay so just copy this and paste it here next you have to write website 
and you have to remove this from here guys okay remember and the next part is we have to write google review because that's also important that was client instruction that you must have to collect the google reviews okay so let's do that remove this okay now what you need to do guys you have to click on this icon now you can see just click on this icon then you have to uh, select bold okay after that you have to click on this then click on this okay so the result will be a little bit uh, big so that we can see everything clearly and it will be so much fun because when you see the uh, complete detail clearly okay so then you have to click on save okay now the data is saved now we have to start our project so just uh, so just come down here guys and now you have to click on this okay so just click on uh, don't click on the first one because it's a advertisement as you can see so just click on this one uh, yeah you can also click on this one okay so let's click on this one after clicking on this one now you can see here that we have found the detail which we are looking for here is the google review here is the business name and here is the complete address of this uh, data which we are looking for look at here is the address and here is the phone number and we have to also get the email address from this website so uh, remember watch the complete video so that you can understand everything because it's the first part of this video we have to also do some more uh, detail in this and I will also guide you that how you can get this kind of work easily okay so uh, I just want to verify the data that um, is that the correct data you not so after I think first we look we should open the website here so just click on the website after clicking on the website you can see now the data has been open here now you can see okay so first what you need to do guys first you have to copy the address of this website okay I have copied the address and now just paste it here next part next part is that just copy the address of the business i mean the store so paste it here then you have to uh, copy the contact number from here you can see here the contact number so just copy the contact number and then paste it here next we have to copy the address from here you can see here the address just copy this address guys and then you have to paste it here okay next we have to copy the google review so here you can see three reviews of google so just paste it here you can type it here three okay now we have to find the email address to find the email address what you need to do guys you have to find the email address here on this page if it's available then okay if not available then you have to do some other what but you know guys i will recommend you to come and down here if there is email address okay if there is not email address then just uh, you can click on the website uh, here and you can also just click on the contact us so let's see the if there is any email address so after clicking on the contact us let's see if there is any email address customer service so okay just forgot about this so just click on the facebook guys you can see here the facebook id so just click on the Facebook uh, actually most of the time I collect the uh, email address from Facebook because it's easy to collect the uh, address from here in the Facebook so just come down guys here now you can see here the just click on that so here is the email address of this copy email address and now you have to paste it here okay so guys you can see we have complete our one entry by doing this it's very simple uh, you know I'm just doing that slowly so that you can understand uh, whenever you do this kind of work you have to do it fastly because the client pay you money so you don't uh, you shouldn't to be a lazy person okay so you have to do that work so much fast but remember don't make any kind of mistake because you shouldn't to make a mistake by doing this kind of work I mean you have to write uh, everything uh, you know correctly I mean the website rear uh, URL and business and mix okay guys so now you have to click on this now we have to click the next entry so just click on that okay guys now we have to copy the ad, mm, the address of this business so just copy this business address now we have to paste it here okay after pasting that now we have to copy the google review here you can see seven 
27 review guys okay so 27 okay that's good now we have to come open the, their website so just open their website and copy the link of this website after copying that website you have to paste it here okay now we have to do next data and that are to find their contactors so just click on the contactors then come down guys here now we can see that that there is the email address of this uh, owner manager so just copy this uh, email address from here okay you can see his, here the email address you can copy this email address and there is also some other email but I will recommend you to copy the owner and manager email address that will be good so just copy the email address and then paste it here okay then you have to copy the phone number so here is the phone number you can see telephone number yeah phone number yes in any number you can collect so i will recommend the cell number copy the cell number and then paste it here okay then we have to copy the address so here is the address you can see okay now we have to paste it here pretty simple guys now we have done to entry by doing it very simple you know just now we have to click on that one okay so just click on the next entry and then we have to copy this data i mean the store name just copy this store name then paste it here okay so then you have to open their website and 107 you guys you can see 100 uh, 17 are uh, review here so just type one uh, 117 reviews okay then you have to copy their uh, you know their website so just open this website okay the website has been open so just copy the website URL and then paste it here here you can see okay then you have to copy the address so here is the address you can see guys so just copy the address and then we have to paste it here okay now we have to copy the contact your number so here is the phone number just copy this phone number and then paste it here now we have to copy the email address so to copy the email address we have opened their website so just click on contact us after clicking on contact us so you will be able to uh, collect their email address from here in this space so now you can see that the email address is not available in this page okay so you don't need to worry about that we will do uh, some other research for that to find the email address so that's why I'm telling you that keep watching the video because if there is any uh, any option which are not available so we will use some other tricks and traps so to find the email address of this uh, for this business okay so now you can see here is no Facebook page no Twitter no nothing and the contact detail is also not available I mean the email address here in this page you can see only in the phone number are available but the email address are not available so for that what you need to do guys you have to come down here and then you have to copy this uh, link you can i mean this business name then uh, search it here in the google and just type email okay email okay email address okay so just click on that the incorrect business so guys now you can see here is the fisher jewelry home address so let's open this Facebook page guys here is the another Facebook page so just open this Facebook page and now you can see that here is the logo of this business and this logo of this business is similar clearly and you don't have to make any mistake in the email if you make it any mistake so it will be so much complicated for you in the future okay so now you can see here is no email address but let's click on the about after clicking on about maybe we can found any mail address here but if you didn't find any mail address so then you can uh, uh, you know just leave it because if the email address is not available so then you can leave it because we have already uh, failed their, their uh, you know the uh, URL of the uh, website so that's also in but we will try to find the email address if it available so that's will be so much good so just click on in the about and let's see if we can found the email address here in this page 
so let's see uh, tangles it's loading okay now let's see guys so the email address are not available here look at okay the email address are not available but the whatsapp uh, you know the whatsapp is available so just you know but you can also just write in a when the email address are not available here so that's fine no matter because we have to collect a lot of detail from here so if the, if the email is not available you can leave it but you know the uh, contact number are very important and also the website because if client want to communicate with them so they can also use uh, this page like the contact page you can see here is the contact page look at so here is the contact page they can send any email address or whatever they want to communicate with them so it's not a big problem okay so we have to remove that now and let's move to the next one so then you have to click uh, like we have collect this one this one now we have to click on this one so after doing that guys you have to follow this way and you have to collect each and every detail here from this after completing this uh, like uh, so the client told me that you have to complete uh, collect as much as you can like you can see here uh, the project was very big like 86 hour I was spent on this project I was doing that um, in a daily basis like uh, 5 5 hour 10 hour per day because it's a log project and client told me to do it as much as possible as soon as possible so I was doing work on that project so after that guys what you need to do like when you collect the store name as much as you can then you have to uh, move to the next one and just remove that and then click it here manufacture in uh, South Africa okay so just click on that after clicking on that now you can see we have found the manufacture here okay so then you have to uh, copy detail from here so just click on that after clicking on that that you can just uh, copy all data from here so that's pretty simple guys uh, i don't think there are any other thing which i need to tell you so that's very simple but still if you have any kind of issue you can just comment me i will uh, try to guide you so first guys if you want to work on that what you need to do just open any excel yeah, google spreadsheet and then just uh, do the setting which i told you in the beginning of the video that's very important after that then you have to write this data here and after that you have to search in google here and then you will be able to find this data and then just start working on that so that's pretty simple and also try to make a different list for each and every because this list is a uh, store name in uh, in a south africa but uh, when you do another work you you have to create a new sheet here and you have to type the manufacture in south africa so you don't have to do everything in one sheet okay so anyway guys i hope you got it what i mean so now let me show you that from here you can get this kind of work guys if you want to get this kind of work first it's very important that you have a portfolio so you can create uh, a lead generation portfolio from this project as i have got you everything step by step what you need to do you have just to uh, write everything uh, you know you have to write this and your portfolio description and then you have to work on this project as i told you that how i did on this so uh, remember guys when you're working on these projects if you didn't find any kind of detail like we were working on this project but we didn't find the email address so you don't need to uh, just try to some uh, just try to spend one year two minutes on finding the email address but if you didn't find the email address so you can leave it just write in a as i did here you can see here you can just write in a and then you can find other detail like store name and phone number and address and website etc and don't forget to uh, leave if, i mean if you didn't find any kind of data you can just write the that this thing is not available like i did this but if you remember if you want to get this kind of work uh, soon so you must have a portfolio and you can create portfolio from this project but if you want to learn more about this kind of work you can subscribe my youtube channel you can also watch this video anyway i will meet you in the next video so thank you so much for watching